Hey girl, hey, welcome back to Beast to Diddy TV where we talk everything beauty, lifestyle, and self-development. If you're new here, my name is Bianca. Get acquainted because if you don't know, you just found out I'm your new favorite influencer. And if you're not new here, hey girl, welcome back. So y'all, I'm finally giving you guys the skincare routine. You guys have been begging me on Instagram for months. What's the skincare routine? Drop that skincare routine. So here it is. I had terrible texture terrible pimples if i can find a picture i will post it right here but this is my routine of how i got to nice clear glowy skin if that sounds like something you're interested in then just keep on watching because we about to get into it So I'm not sure if the camera is picking up on it, but I have a little bit of texture, some dry spots, um, and a few mild breakouts, nothing major. Um, but you guys can see like the bumpiness is starting to come back on my cheek area and my forehead. So I wanted to take a step back and go back to my initial skincare routine. Kind of, this is like my base skincare routine, the basics, the beginning. This is my reset routine every time my skin is acting out i always go back to this routine but first let's wash these hands So my first step is going to be cleanser. Of course, if you have makeup on, you may want to use a makeup remover first. But for my cleanser, I use the La Roche Pose Purifying Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is what it looks like. As y'all could tell, it's almost done. This is like, I believe it's like the 13 fluid ounce. And I'm also going in with my Ferrero device. And we're going to just get this all on the face. Now, this cleanser honestly saved my life it's unscented it has niacinamide or niacinamide i'm not sure how you pronounce it um and it does not dry your skin this is probably the first cleanser i've used where i've washed my face and when i rinse my face off it is hydrated i love this cleanser i love that it's not scented because i have very sensitive skin and usually anything with a crazy amount of scents is an automatic no for me immediately no but this cleanser i love that it foams up to me if it doesn't foam or set up it's not doing it for me like i need to see that it's doing something and to me if it don't if it don't foam up it's not a go for me that's just me personally and as far as this ferrero goes i know there's like more expensive ones with heat treatments or whatever this is not that um i will make sure to link the exact name of it in my description along with all the products that i'll be using today but it's just vibrating so it's basically just giving that extra oomph into my skin and getting like kind of moisturizing almost the soap into my skin so once you rinse off the cleanser this next step is the most important after washing your hands paper towel people paper towel please stop using cloths and actual hand towels face towels if you only knew how much bacteria holds up in those towels that is why your face will never clear i'm telling you right now the minute i made the switch from washcloths and face cloths to paper towel immediate game changer throw it away get you some paper towels call it a day okay so this next product is tea and if you don't take nothing else from this video other than paper towel please take this please go run to your nearest sephora and grab it the paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant changed my life i got rid of toners when i started this skin journey and i replaced 
the toner step with this step. I put it on a little pad and I wipe it all over my face. I use this straight morning and night for a month. And when I tell you, I immediately saw differences in my pores, my skin. I used to have really bad blackheads on my nose. When I tell you they disappeared, disappeared. I, I don't really know what happened to them. I kind of want to know the science behind it, but disappeared. This product literally changed the game. When people were asking me on Instagram, oh, what's your skin routine? I wouldn't give my skin routine, but I would tell them to go run and grab this product. Do not walk, run, because every person that I have told about this product has used it and has come back to me and said, thank you, you are a life changer. So next up is serum and for my serum I use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Everyone knows hyaluronic acid is perfect for hydration so if you have very dry skin I highly recommend this product even if you have oily skin I still recommend this product. This is the product that brings the glow kind of back to my face. It leaves my skin so like supple and moisturized but with a glow not with like a oily finish and i love the way this product feels on my skin as i'm moisturizing it in after the paula's choice it just goes so well it's not too thin it's not too thick it's like the perfect consistency and it just really makes my skin moisturized like look at that Oh, I wish you guys could feel it, but I would say grab it so you can feel it on your own skin and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So my next step is gonna be eye cream. Now with eye cream, I don't consider this step a must have, but this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I don't really have bags under my eyes per se or like dark circles under my eyes or anything like that. So I don't consider it a necessity for me. But if you have any of those issues under your eyes, then I highly suggest this eye cream. I honestly only use eye cream if I'm doing like a full blown spa day for myself which i kind of do bi-weekly on sundays or if i am applying makeup and i'm doing a full face because let me tell you the key to flawless under eye concealer application is eye cream let me say that again the key to flawless under eye application with concealer when you're doing your makeup is eye cream when i tell you it changed the game for me. I'll give you guys a tutorial or I'll show you guys more in depth in a future get ready with me. But this step is crucial if you're doing your makeup. But if you're just doing your everyday skincare routine, I wouldn't break the bank on an eye cream. So here is my moisturizer. I use the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer for evening. It is very thick and I don't know if I wanna use the word thick, is more like rich is the word that I wanna go with. You don't need a lot. This moisturizer feels so good. Um, if you're into vegan products, I highly recommend this product. But in general, it just feels really good. It is really thick. I use this for nighttime. And for the daytime, I usually use the Ole Henriksen Sea Rush Vitamin C Moisturizer. I don't think I showed you guys in this video, but I will link it down below. Just to give you guys another option for the daytime since that moisturizer is a lot lighter than the one I'm putting on my face right now.
will also say in the beginning i was very skeptical about moisturizers in general so if you have sensitive skin and you're worried about scented or just like formulas feel free to use the nivea cream i was using this morning and night even though it's heavy for a long time and that did the job just right i recently branched out and tried different moisturizer but nivea has been my og for years spf super important if you're doing this routine in the morning please use your spf i'm starting to realize that i should have used spf a long time ago because i am now getting some discoloration happening which of course is from the sun lastly is my lip mask and i use the fresh sugar recovery lip mask i love this mask if you guys know how long i've been looking for a lip mask i bought this back um i believe in an ulta haul that i showed you guys earlier a few months ago and look done finito i love this lip mask it leaves your skin or your lips i should say so moisturized with like a little bit of gloss but not too much and when i tell you i wake up and my lips are still moisturized i still feel the product on my lips now that's what i'm talking about that is a lip mask so that's pretty much it for my skincare routine every day um i do this morning and night or i should say i did this routine for a year and a half morning and night and i just seen my skin completely do a 360. um i also do have a few acne bumps um like little pimples on my cheek on my forehead so what i use what i like to do and i don't know if this is the right or wrong way this is what i do i take some alcohol in a q-tip and i dry the pimple out because i believe that pimples come from excess oil right i believe so so in my head i'm like okay well let's dry it out first and then put the prescription or cream whatever you want to put so that's what I'm doing here with the Q-tip. I learned that I don't want to use my hands for this just because, you know, fingers have dirt. So I just like to use Q-tips. I use one side to dry it out with the alcohol and then I'll go in with this on the spot acne treatment and just put that on top or sometimes I'll use a pimple patch. It honestly just depends on how I feel. Comment down below if you guys have any other acne treatments that you guys use. That's the only thing that I kind of just let pimples run its course. I truly don't mess with them too much. Um, one, because I don't get them as often. They're usually hormonal. Or two, I know I touched my face when I wasn't supposed to after I did something and I already know why it's there. So I kind of just don't really mess with them too much. But if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. And these are the um, that pimple spots that I use. I think I bought these from Ulta as well. But let me know in the comments how you guys treat your pimples. That is the only thing that I'm not really um advanced in so i would love to hear you guys opinions on that but this is my skin super glowy super hydrating um and just clear like my even my makeup has been a lot better the application in general has been better because of my skincare routine make sure you guys like this video comment down below let me know what products you guys are going to run and buy right now and make sure you subscribe to my channel i love all of you thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next one love you guys bye